Hey everyone, welcome back to the Sunday vlog. Um, super excited today. I am not painting today again in here, but I'm just putting together, um, pulling out all kinds of paintings I've been working on, things that are half started, things that are almost done, but I'm looking at everything with fresh eyes. And what I'm thinking about is a show that's coming up for me. It's gonna be in a few months and I'm gonna be making about 15 to 18 paintings and they're all gonna to hold together. And that's not what I've got right now. And I don't yet know what the work is going to be, how the show is going to hold together. So I thought in, you know, I'll be sharing a lot over the coming weeks about how this whole process works. Cause I've never actually done this and maybe that will be helpful. It's interesting, right? How people put things together. So, so today I'm looking here at all the work that I've got kind of half started. And I also pull out a lot of sizes of panels that I'm gonna turn into paintings. I like to see as much of the work as possible, even if there's nothing on the picture, I just kind of pull everything out and I'm looking at about seven or eight pieces right now. And, um, and I don't like parts of them, lots of them, they're all gonna be worked on, they're all gonna be changed, but it helps me to see as much of it as I can, even if the, it's just the sizes. These are the sizes, these big ones, small ones, vertical, two verticals. And I'm starting to get familiar with this end result of the work, what this collection's gonna look like. And I gain a lot out of just looking at everything, what I like, what I don't like, and before I even start working. So that's kind of what I'm doing right here. Um, right now, just looking at all this work. Basic idea here is before I get specific, I wanna stay really wide, the, keep the, the view really wide of what I'm working on and not get pinned down to everything. And I'm looking for things that I might not have seen before. I'm looking for something new and exciting in the work that I can march forward with. And I'm, I'm not yet seeing it, but this is how I do it, which is kind of, ruminate on it and look at all this work. So anyway, that's what I'm involved in. Um, and I will then go into this, these pictures, starting new ones, but it will be with a little bit more clarity. It just comes from, for me, from looking and thinking for a while and looking at all, all the work, the things that are behind me, things that I've just started. Um, the most, what's interesting is the most helpful are the panels that I've worked on where I was just experimenting, playing. I really pay attention to those, even though the, the, they're the furthest away from finished paintings. In those, I, I can often see things that I want to develop. Um, so anyway, um, let me know in the comments, you know, how you get your head around a whole body of work, how you start thinking about a whole body of work before you've made it, right? Do you plan it all out? Um, I haven't been successful when I was really planning it all. I just, I just kind of figure it out as I go. Um, but this is the first stages of it, just sitting in front of and feeling what it needs. I'm letting the work, what's here, kind of inform me. Anyway, let me know how, how you do this. Let me know in the comments and um, I hope you get out today and um, make some art. <laughs> all right, thanks so much for being here. Hey everyone, if you found this helpful, I have a whole lot more to teach, share, and inspire you with every single week. So join the Art to Life YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below. Okay, let's do this. Awesome.